How likely is it that MDS will progress to AML? And how long does it usually take? As I said, MDS is very heterogeneous disease and uh, low risk uh, disease is low risk because it, uh, you know, progresses uh, less often uh, than high risk MDS. Uh, but for, you know, even in high risk, there are certain chromosomal abnormalities that increase the risk of progression, particularly therapy related MDS, we call it, you know, if they already received chemotherapy or radiation, uh, they are at much higher risk of progression to leukemia and uh, therapy-related MDS, and also if they have a mutation called uh, TP53 or chromosome abnormalities in the 17th chromosome, uh, those are the patients that have high risk of progression. And sometimes if they have monosomy 7, the, you know, they have also high risk of uh, progression. And if they have complex cytogenetics, meaning more than three chromosome abnormalities in the bone marrow. So those are the patients that are considered a high risk and they have a high chance of progression to uh, AML or uh, leukemia in the next, uh, you know, two to three years after diagnosis. So that's why we want to monitor them more closely and sometimes we treat them as though they have, you know, like an aggressive, uh, you know, almost like treatment is similar to leukemia with hypomethylating treatment and, uh, and also stem cell transplant.